Wow, what an amazing Eurovision this was. I'm finally home. I've had lots and lots of sleep because I was completely exhausted. And as always, I have to come on and give my thank yous to everyone who made this such an amazing experience, not only for me, but the rest of the Vox Squad. And the Vox Squad are always the first people I will thank. I have the most amazing team around me. You'll have seen some of the guys in Liverpool. We had Clara, Jess, uh, Stu was there. We had... Sanya, Sanya, the first time I got to meet you, and I, I love you even more than I thought I would. Uh, Tuan, Polly, um, Justin and Shanassi, two of our Australian Vox Squatters, who actually came over uh, all the way from Australia, got to experience Eurovision for the first time. Uh, loved seeing you guys uh, enjoy the experience and hope uh, hope it was as good as you made it look. Um, also to Dylan, to Tommy, to Harry. Um, I think Paolo was in Liverpool as well. But also to the guys that weren't able to come this year. Um, thank you for everything that you've done over the course of the year and everything you've done over the past few weeks to support uh, the mission in Liverpool. I will always say you guys are amazing. Mwah and I love you. But secondly, I have to thank you guys, our viewers, everyone that uh, watches us on YouTube, everyone that comments, likes our videos, uh, follows us on TikTok, on Instagram, communicates with us there, all the others, Twitter, Facebook, you know guys. Uh, we do this for you. If you guys weren't here, we wouldn't be doing it. Um, and it's a, a, a real privilege for us to be able to do uh, what we do. But we do do it for you. You guys spur us on year after year and to see uh, kind of our following grow just uh, spurs us on to to do more than ever and our real purpose uh, especially this year in Liverpool because it was quite an expensive city for some people to travel to is to try and bring you guys closer to Eurovision now there was lots of limitations uh, in how we could do that this year obviously we weren't allowed to live stream from the press center even in between shows um, I know that some people did but we really don't want to break any rules um, and it was very strict at Eurovision this year so a real big apology that we weren't able to connect with you guys through the live streams. By the time we got home after working in the press centre, sometimes it would be the early hours of the morning and it was just too late. So thank you so much to everyone uh, for sticking by us and uh, glad we can now start streaming live and really finding out what you guys thought of Eurovision this year. Um, but thank you so much for everything you do. Uh, like I said, you guys really spur us on and we hope you do. we do you proud as well and provide the content that you guys want. Now Eurovision every year is also about seeing old friends and making new friends and that especially rings true uh, in the press centre. Um, I always have to shout out to uh, Eric and Andre, to our Polish fam, Natalia, uh, Maria, my babies, um, uh, all, all the Maceks, there's loads of you, I can never count how many of you there are, Sergiusz, Miki, Mieszko, uh, Szymon, uh, Lucas, um, I think I've got everyone in the Polish team, but you guys uh, know how much we love you, and thank you for kind of uh, keeping us company and supporting us and helping us uh, while we were in Liverpool this year, but also to everyone else that we met in the press centre and around the press centre, it was so nice uh, to catch up with you guys again, Eurovision really is one big family, uh, and we hope that we're able to kind of keep that going in Sweden next year. But also I have to say a huge thank you to uh, the people that kind of kept the press centre working. Um, the volunteers, the security, um, the guys behind the food bar that kind of kept us fed, uh, watered and caffeinated every day. But also the guys behind the Bailey's counter because I don't think anyone worked harder than you guys. Uh, for those of you that don't know, there was kind of a Bailey's bar in the press centre. We had like two or three guys behind the bar that were like mixing up these cocktails uh, literally a couple of times a day to massive queues of people because the drinks were so nice. If you haven't tried Bailey's before uh, give it a try it's my first time actually and I promise this video isn't sponsored now Eurovision 2023 for me was probably the best Eurovision I've experienced now I don't know if I'm being biased but I've heard from lots of people that watched it uh, on screen that said it was fantastic as well but what was really beautiful this year was just how much Liverpool embraced Eurovision um, and how much they embraced Ukraine and Ukrainian cultures and wanted to show off uh, Ukraine because this Eurovision was on behalf of Ukraine. It wasn't a British Eurovision. It was definitely a British and Ukrainian Eurovision held on behalf uh, of Ukraine because of Kalish Orchestra's win last year. And boy, did they go all out from the staging to the lighting to just kind of the whole vibe in the city. The BBC, Liverpool City Council, uh, Ukrainian broadcaster. Um, you guys have done a fantastic job. It just all came together and really showed that we can be united by music 
music. And I'll have more to say about that shortly. But I'm pretty sure uh, I've mentioned everyone, but the last people that I have to mention are the residents of Liverpool. You guys are fantastic. If you've not been to Liverpool, uh, please go and visit that city. It's absolutely stunning. Nothing like what I expected. I've not really been there before, but beautiful architecture, beautiful, warm, friendly people. So helpful, so welcoming. Um, I really, really recommend it. And guys, I can't wait to come back uh, to Liverpool. I'm converted. I want to move there. But in the end, the night was uh, Lorene's. And of course, I've seen some of the fan reactions. People unhappy that Kari hasn't won. People unhappy that the televote didn't select the ultimate winner. Everyone will have their opinion. But I just want to remind everyone about this year's slogan, United by Music. I've seen so much negativity, so many hateful comments uh, against other fans and against artists. I've seen so much toxicity and it really concerns me because Eurovision should be about positivity and that's always what we will try and bring you guys. Um, but if you like something, like it and don't worry about what other people think about you liking it. If you don't like something, respect that other people may like it. Every year it just seems to be getting worse and worse. And like I said, it really worries me. Hopefully you won't see any of that coming from us because we want to bring the positivity uh, about Eurovision. Eurovision is such a beautiful thing. It's been going for so long and it does unite countries. Yes, we all have different opinions and that is absolutely fine. But make sure that you're putting them across uh, respectfully. Uh, Eurovision itself has noticed some of the toxicity, especially against the artists. And we had some really young artists there this year. People like uh, Victor and Iru. Um, and I've seen so much hate against particular artists and really vile comments. And I will never stand for that. I will never say that is okay. And if you are one of those people, maybe take a step back and think about how it would be for you to be on the receiving end of that. Hopefully next year in Sweden, uh, we're going to have a much more positive uh, contest in the fandom because Eurovision has the best fans, but it also has some of the worst. And we need to make this thing a positive experience uh, for everyone. And we all have a part to play in that. And lastly, I have to congratulate two-time winner, uh, Lorene. Uh, it was absolutely amazing uh, to meet Lorene in person. Uh, she's a great artist. And yes, you might not uh, have this as your chosen winner, but it won by the rules. Um, it won the jury vote. Uh, I think came second in the televote. So it kind of cut across uh, cut across both uh, voting methods. And also is already becoming a big hit even here in the UK. It's number one on uh, the Spotify streaming chart. So a deserved winner. But yes, maybe not the one I would have picked if you gave me uh, the choice. But I'm not going to take anything away from Sweden, anything away from Loreen or anything away from you guys who are supporting uh, this song. But I'm also going to mention as well, uh, Cardia. What a star. Um, I will never, ever get Cha 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 out of my head. And he's brought so much joy uh, to the contest. Every time we've spoken to him, all the interviews I've seen with him, uh, he's just so endearing. And like, I would love you to come back, Cardia. Please don't let this be your last Eurovision. But anyway, guys, huge thank you to everyone. If I've forgotten to mention you, I'm so sorry. I have the worst memory. Um, but yeah, so much love uh, for everyone that has kind of been part of our journey this year and really look forward to connecting you guys uh, connecting with you guys over the next year and until you see me again sending you guys much love uh, keep it peaceful keep it positive and I'll see you again soon